Welcome to the Railroad Rail Problem. This is one of the harder problems that you've had for this week. Indeed, it was the problem of the week. And we wanted to show a nice demonstration of the Railroad Rail Problem. I have my assistant, Christina, here, who's going to help us through the demonstration. What you can see here is we have two C-clamps. They're exactly one meter apart. And you can see that because this meter stick is really snug in there. It's very hard to get out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that meter stick and we're going to add a little distance to it. We're doing that with a second meter stick and we're going to be introducing the width of that meter stick into the path between these C-clamps and that will cause the meter stick to bow. First thing we need to do is figure out just how wide is that meter stick? What is its thickness? And we use this caliper as a measuring device to determine it and you can see the width is about two millimeters. That two millimeters is about one five hundredth the length of the meter stick. This is about a factor of ten bigger than the difference we did with the railroad rail where it was one mile and we added one foot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the railroad rail in between this, the C-clamps. We're going to introduce that extra distance. We're going to make sure that the meter stick is nice and firm between the C-clamps all the way snug at the bottom of the table so that the bow is properly registered and when Christina has got this all set up you're going to be able to see the bow in the center here is much much bigger than two millimeters. Indeed we're going to use the depth gauge facility of this caliper to measure that height of how big the bow is and we're going to do that very carefully. It takes just a little time to get it set up and you find after it gets set up that it is right around 31 millimeters. So this is a factor of 15 larger than the width that we put in. We want to be technically correct. We will subtract the width of the railroad rail and find that the actual bow is about 29 millimeters. So 29 millimeters to 2 millimeters is about a factor of 15. If you remember in the railroad rail problem, the factor was more like 50 feet versus 1 feet. That was a factor of 50. And what this tells you is that when you look at even larger and larger distances, the ratio of the bowing to how much width you put in gets bigger and bigger. This is the best we can do on an experiment that we can show in the lab, but it really illustrates this effect that the bowing that you get when you add an additional length to a railroad rail is a really huge effect.